just try to play it safe and say, you know what? I don't need to race at Virginia. I'm going to race another day. If we're going to win this championship, I'm going to do it the right way. He misses those races. He's going to come out of here with his second victory of the year. And it is Corey Alexander on the Titler's BMW ride. HVMC machine with a win. 2.8 seconds ahead of his teammate, Travis Wyman. Jeff May in third. And that puts him right back in the championship hunt. Mesa, Debrino, Gerardo rounding out the top six. He knows how big his lead is. He's not going to make a mistake. He's got too much experience. And another win for, for Corey and just keep getting himself closer to that championship battle. After spotting those guys two races in Virginia, he's made up a lot of points quick. He has indeed. He is now back into contention. Corey Alexander wins the UASA Stock 1000 race. He takes the trophy and the 25 points and he moves to within uh, five points of the championship lead. He did speak, I think, yesterday to Jason, said he's very confident for today. Uh, could be a podium contender, but certainly a top six contender is Ezra Bobier. Corey makes a pass into the chicane. That's a good pass. That is a really hard place to make a pass on a Stock 1000. So that was a good setup into the end. And here he goes. Oh, he thinks about it. He has to you see him stand on the back brake there to try and get it stopped. Corey Alexander, will he have seen him? I think he had to feel him. I think it was. Here comes Hayden then. Thinks about making a move. And he's, oh, he's gone early. Hayden Gillum goes through and shows the front wheel to Corey Can he Alexander. hold it? Can he hold it? No, he can't. Alexander comes back underneath him side by side. So much trust between these two riders. BMW versus uh, Suzuki. Now we go hard on the brakes and Gillum's going to come again. Here he comes. Oh! That's a huge move. Sorry, Roger, and uh, well, that was. Uh, whew, whoa, sorry, mate. <laughs> Just through this, Roger. Just on the the outside through there through turn six. As the track goes down, I think what Hayden was wanting to do was just kind of do a block pass, but he just gets in too quick, and he knows at that point, and he really cuts up the inside. He could have got into to Corey and use him as a berm if he could, wanted to, but that's not the way he's going to race. Yeah, he's not going to wipe him out. I mean, it was very, uh, you know, it was an, an opportunistic maneuver. It was Corey Alexander from Travis Wyman, and it is going to be the case again here through the penultimate corner onto the start and finish straight. Corey Alexander is undefeated at the Ridge Motorsport Park. Travis Wyman gets a podium. Debrino in third, and Hayden Gillum loses the lead in the championship with a, a lunge there that he will regret. And look at that from Corey Alexander. Alexander Ezra Bobier in fifth position and another top six for Brandon Pash. Nevertheless, he's not giving up. They come down into the final corner. Here comes your race winner. 75 points from the last 75. It's three wins on the bounce and an extended lead in the championship for Corey Alexander. We look back out of the final corner. Is it Bryce Prince or is it Hayden Gillum? It is Bryce Prince just by 0.3 of a second. Nicely done. We have three manufacturers on the podium. Travis Wyman crosses the line in fourth. I'll tell you what, that was exciting towards the end. Grip is at a premium, especially this deep in the race. Things are really hard to find. It's fi hard to find grip. Now, here's a couple teammates battling it out, Jay. Yeah, Corey Alexander, Travis Wyman there, and it looked like, is it Hayden Gillum just behind them? So, Travis as you can see, going Travis up the inside. Goes, look how much room he gave Corey, too. They gave each other plenty of room there. So, the two Titlers teammates giving each other room through turn two, and look at Hayden Gillum. So, this is like watching the Stock Thousand race, isn't it? Between these three guys. We are racing here. Five lap shootout. Revs are up. We're green. A good start by Hayden. A great start it looked like by Brandon Posh. If he's got room to do anything, he's third. He may have a run around the outside for second if he's willing to give it a go. Hayden Gillum there second. You can see he's already trying to make a move on Corey Alexander. Great start by Corey. Oh my goodness, after Hayden had been so strong, now he gets right yeah. back up on it again. Down to the inside. No, Corey shutting the door. But still another opportunity here for Hayden. I think he'll go for it. Here it is. It's turn 12, and we've seen people, if they try and protect down here, goes wrong. Look at the move by Travis Wyman. Oh, no, and he down. tips it. Tips it down. Down he goes. Pash able to avoid him. Looks like Pash can hang on for a second. He does. And Andrew Lee comes through for the final spot in the podium. Danilo Lewis in fourth and Ezra Bobier 
in fifth and look at Corey Alexander. He knows what this means in terms of those points. Yeah, exactly. And because you're going into the corner a lot, you know, a lot further on the inside. So it's hard to stay on line in the middle of the corner and not not drift up. But he did a great job. All right, Travis, I'll tell you, he's got to be feeling better. And uh, you know, when you feel bad like like he did and then you, uh, everything sort of clears up, we hope for him overnight, uh, you you know, you get that little rush of energy and motivation. And he is absolutely stuck to Alexander right now. Ooh, and also, look, right look, look there, there. for the lead, too, you know, if he is sick, it's going to take his mind off of it than when he was running around yesterday kind of. Boy, even with the camera zoomed in, you're, it's still getting a couple of guys and Hayden getting the run, going the outside again. He's been willing to do it, but look at Corey coming right back down the inside. I think if Hayden was on the inside there, went to the inside, he could have made that pass stick. Look how hard Corey's riding. Yeah. Hayden's got to be really careful here not to uh, overshoot. Does a nice job. Here comes Corey. He's looking at it again. Is he there? He's inside. He's oh, through. He took oh, down. Hayden's down. Was there contact? I don't yeah, know. There was contact. You think there was, huh? Last couple of corners here through 17. Uh oh, Corey got a nice run out of there. Oh, and Hayden got back up and had another off, we're hearing reports, but it is Corey Alexander over teammate Travis Wyman. We had a hard time yesterday getting through all of the lads. Had a couple of red flags come out. And you see Corey already trying to make a move on Jeff May into five. First lap, sees Hayden Gillum there. He does not want to see Hayden get away. No, cannot let him uh, check out. So there is second. And, whoa, step out from Corey. Shows you the horsepower. These are stock 1000s, but plenty of HP underneath them. Yeah, Jeff May actually lost a couple spots, and now he's faded right there, right behind uh, Ezra Bobier, setting in third. <laughs>